And how is business today, Mistress Thever? How oh, indeed? Oh, frenetic. Look, I have a new customer. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Tis good to see you, my friend. Yeah, been a while. I'll have what he's having. <laughs> the barley seeds you wanted. They should produce a better harvest than the last. What, just like that? Oh, well, for no, you really are a dear. Well, I'd best be tidying up some of those empty shacks before the pests move in. Keep an eye on the place while I'm out, eh? But no hugs. Reunions are fantastic. It seems an age since last we spoke. Not since the prisoner exchange in Doma. And Yotsu. <laughs> I'm surprised you remember. It's longer for me, of course, if you count the days I've spent here. But the time has only added to the relief I feel seeing you safe and well. Alizé said much the same thing. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had such a scolding. <laughs> but I believe an exchange of news is in order. Yeah. Come, tell me of your arrival and all that came before. I see. But the Exarch and Alizé told me what they knew of events. But I had stubbornly clung on to the hope that all-out war might yet be avoidable. And poor Tataru. She must be sick with worry. We must endeavor to return as soon as we may. No way. I told her. It would be nice to bring her good tidings for a change. I did. I sent uh, Ulfe. Feu. But before we bid this world farewell, we must first ensure that it is not rejoined to the source. We must prevent the Eighth Umbral Calamity. Uriange's vision of the future has, I fear, every chance of coming true. By his description, the catalyst for the Calamity was a formless and deadly weapon employed by the Garlean Empire. Which can only mean one thing. Black Rose. Gaius was telling you the truth. When we were on the trail of the Asians, we saw evidence that the gas was being manufactured once more. Gaius was adamant that the project had been scrapped, but so long as there are wars to be waged, there will always be those determined to win by any means. Yeah, that's how it works. And thus simply destroying the existing stores of Black Rose would do little to alter fate's course. In that sense, our involuntary journey here to the first was something of a boon. Together with the Exarch, we've developed a theory as to how we believe the rejoining will be set in motion. I'm sure Orianger himself will cover the subject in more detail. But I can tell you the process requires that both worlds, the Source and the First, be facing an existential threat. One being Sin Eaters, of course. Nope. They are a menace that I would dearly love to remove, and not just to avert a calamity. I may be a stranger to this world, but I will not stand idly by and let innocent people be slaughtered. Fair. <clears throat> that is what brought me to the gates of Yulmor. Ignoring its pretensions as a kind of capital city to what remains of the world, it is nonetheless a center of power and authority. 
If any solutions are to be found, I believe our search should begin there. What say you, old friend? Hungry for another adventure? And so we take to the road once more. And so they go again. Right, meeting the chais. <sighs> One big cat lady. Oh, who's this then? Charms. Lord and Lady Chai, pray forgive our intrusion. I am given to understand you are in search of an artist. An artist? Oh, an artist. Ah, you must be the new, uh... Painter. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> what an adorable boy. <sighs> that silken hair, those pearly cheeks, oh, and you even smell wonderful. Like a bed of flowers. I approve of this one, dearest. I am positive he'll paint us the most delightful pictures. I, um, uh, uh, yes. <clears throat> well, I mean, as long as he paints better than that talentless wretch we sent packing last week. Sent packing. Wretch, huh? <laughs> it's like right away, his smile went wonderful, away. Wonderful, wonderful! Welcome to you, more. Um... <laughs> Alfino, if it please you, my lady. And this is my assistant. Oh, <laughs> this is my assistant. Charmed, I'm sure. Your assistant? I've heard of folk bringing in family members, but this seems a bit irregular. Aren't you a little young to have a protégé? I'm just that good. <laughs> we are family in all but name, my lord. Though we share no blood, we have stood by each other through life's many challenges. Mm -hmm. Resolved to prevail together or not at all. Oh. Of all people, <laughs> tis she who best understands my work. With her unique insight guiding my hand, the art I create is sure to satisfy your expectations. <laughs> Once the picture has begun, of course, I shall have no need of constant encouragement. Mm -hmm. And so I wondered, rather than her being in your way, might it then be permissible for my assistant to explore the city she has so long to see? <laughs> Out of gratitude for her priceless contribution to my art, I thought it only fair that I make this humble request on her behalf. Mm -hmm. Did you ever hear of such devotion? Of course your assistant must have her wish. She shall be free to roam to her heart's content. Isn't that right, darling? <laughs> so, uh, 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 oh, yes, yes, of course there is. Quite, quite right. <laughs> of course there is, yeah. <laughs> Who is in charge of this relationship, I wonder, huh? Ay, 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 ay. What a relationship. <laughs> I have returned from your jaunt around the city so soon. You needn't have hurried back, young Alpino has yet to put brush to canvas. One cannot rush good art, I'm told, or good artists, apparently. Ah, finally. The hero has arrived. Put together an assemble out of the garments you chose. Is this satisfactory? Oh, goodness gracious me. That last outfit was precious. 
But this makes you look positively dashing. You truly are a handsome boy. However, am I to decide? I don't recall this part of the artistic process. <laughs> oh, good. Exactly. The lad is an artist, dearest, not a dress-up doll. It's about time we set him to work for the reason we called him here. Must we? I do love a good painting, but I thought since we were enjoying ourselves so thoroughly... <sighs> well, I'd not. That is to say, as long as you... Uh, just make sure you give the lad time to prepare. We know who'll be upset if he's not ready to paint at a moment's notice. Whatever you say, darling. So, shall we pick out some jewelry next? Ay, 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 ay. What am I to do with this woman? Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. da, da. It's good to see you back. You were taking so long I began to worry. Something had happened. I began sketching an outline for the portrait, but nay, the chais appear otherwise occupied. Will you share what your investigation have gleaned thus far? So, Lord Vathry boasts some manner of influence over the Sin Eaters, does he? That would explain the reverence in which he is held by the citizenry. And as for this ascension business, I cannot help but be put in mind of that apothecary and his ominous remarks. If so many folk have entered the city over the years, then where do they go? Ah, the picture's already done. Hmm. I take my eyes off you for one moment and you're chatting, chattering away with that assistance of yours. Am I to assume the outline is done then? Meow! What? What in the blazes? Oh god. It's so... So... Unflattering. Explain yourself, Alphino. Where is your artistic interpretation? It should evoke images of affluence and nobility and overwhelm the viewer with its boundless beauty. Lord Chai, you stated that this portrait was to commemorate your anniversary. Yours being a joyous union, it seemed to me that a realistic portrayal... Realistic? I don't want realism, I want perfection. A spectacle to slacken jaws and weaken knees. To make people cry out in amazement. Now fetch a blank canvas and... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, he was screaming actually. I say, did that come from above? Dum -da -da -da. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. A tale to make you quiver and your noble blood freeze. There was a villain on the loose set to ruin our first city. But our lord has got him now and his fate will not be pretty. Yes, the hammer of justice is poised to come crashing down. To come crashing down. And one and all who'd watch it fall are invited to join his lordship in the offer. That's not a rhyme. Ah, yes, yes, interesting. A malcontent? How dreadful. And this man is to face sentencing? That's right. In fact, if you're curious, it might be worth you going along for the experience. The offer they mentioned is part of the emergent, the level above us where Lord Bathby resides. Ordinarily, you would be barred from entering, but it seems they'll be op opening its doors for the next little while. The crown lift will take you up there. We had better not dawdle then. Dawdle. Let's go. That's him. 
That's Vothri. <laughs> He's kind of hard to miss. <laughs> oh, he has the same pattern of rings as Lady Chai. Oh, no, it needs to be yellow blue. Yellow white. Look at those girls, though. Oh, god dang it. He's attended by Sin Eaters. But how does he keep them from attacking? <sighs> Mercy. Mercy. <sighs> By the twelve. Kaishia, what happened to you? Who are these impudent louts? I do not recall requesting their presence. Louts. Lord Vortry, what is the meaning of this? Why is this poor man bleeding to death on your floor? Why? You ask me why? Because criminals must be punished. And this man is guilty of fraud. Fraud. He came to us claiming to be a man of business. Yet his subsequent conduct has shown him to be anything but. Your is a city built on love for one's fellow man. Those who have naught to give and live only to take are a blight upon our society! To atone for this crime, I ordered that he fling himself from the balcony. <laughs> Wee. And he had the temerity to weep. Please, my lord, <laughs> anything but that. What then is a man of mercy to do? But offer the sinner another way to show his contrition. Man of mercy. Another way, meaning what exactly? Sin eaters are part of Yulmor's society, but they must be fed with ether. Living ether. So, I demanded an offering of flesh, carved by his own hand from his own hide. And still, still, he could not do as I asked. A wholly unsatisfactory performance. It is true that Kaishia won his place here by fraud, but his actions were driven only by a desire to share in your paradise. That you would cast him out I could almost accept, but to humiliate him thus? To demand his very life? Is this truly the way of Yulmore? At the end of the world? Yeah. Dim, deluded child. Have you ever paused to consider what it takes to maintain such a paradise in this barren, broken world of ours? The guarantee of safety and stability. The knowledge that if one only abides by the rules, one has naught to fear. I alone can offer these things, for I alone can command the Sin Eaters. And thus am I alone the voice of justice, and any who oppose me, villains to be punished. <laughs> nice speech, I guess. <laughs> and people call this paradise. I mean... Depends what your standards are. You were granted a place in my city for a particular skill. What was it? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Painting. <laughs> oh, an artiste! 
Not then you beast. shall paint a picture for me of Yulmore. If I find your art pleasing, then I may excuse this display of insolence. <laughs> the arrogance, I love it. Gave you permission to tend to that criminal's wounds. I told you to paint me a picture. A picture. Hey, hey, hey. What you need is a mirror, not a painting. <laughs> it will capture the horror I see before me far better than I ever could. Oh god, savage. He's in shock. Doesn't understand what just happened. I think so. Bothry looks like a big mule. Did, did, did that little worm just insult me? <laughs> I can't do it. I'll kill them! I'll, I'll kill them all! I'll enslave their minds! I'll, I'll torment them! Torture them! Then tear out their hearts! Hey! Solace! What's happening, brother? <laughs> hey, hey.